Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm so glad you're watching church today. We've been having so much fun learning all about the different kings and queens in the Bible and what it means to be royal. But I think one of the coolest things we've learned is that you don't have to be a king or queen to be royal. Royalty means having the qualities of a king or queen. So that means we can be royal too, when we do some of the good things we see these kings and queens from the Bible doing. And today, we're learning about a king who did something great. He trusted God. I'm gonna tell you all about it. But first, let's check out our Bible verse. It's 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. And it says, all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Let's stand up right now and sing that. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. What is wrong in our lives? It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Yeah. us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Yeah. Great job, I love that song. It reminds me that these stories we read in the Bible serve a purpose. They're meant to teach us what is right and prepare us to do the good things God wants us to do. One of the good kings in the Bible that we can be like is King Jehoshaphat, and his story teaches us that we can trust God. We can show God that we trust him when we pray about everything and tell God what we need. He will always take care of us because he's gone before us and will be with us. At one point during King Jehoshaphat's rule, he had multiple armies coming after him and his people. He was afraid, but instead of backing down, he turned to God. He prayed and told God that he didn't know what to do, but that he trusted God's plan. And guess what happened? Well, why don't you see for yourself? Let's watch this Bible story and find out. Stories of the Bible, Jehoshaphat. This is Jehoshaphat. Oh, hello. Who was one of the kings of Judah. He was a good king. Yeah. Who strengthened Judah. Hey, go and he did what was right in God's eyes. He obeyed God's commandments and God was with him. There were other countries around Judah who wanted to wage war on Judah though. Huh. And one day, messengers came to Jehoshaphat. Hey, hey, Jehoshaphat! 
and said that the armies of three kingdoms were marching towards Judah. Oh no! Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news and begged God for guidance. Hey everyone! Hey! He told everyone in Judah to start fasting. People from all the towns of Judah came to Jerusalem to seek God's help. Jehoshaphat stood before all the people and prayed to God. He asked for God's help, saying, O oh Lord, God of our ancestors, you are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. He told God of the things that God had done for Israel before, and he asked him to stop the armies that were coming for them. He said, We are powerless against this mighty army that is about to attack us. We do not know what to do, but we are looking to you for help. All of the men of Judah stood before God with their wives and children. The Spirit of God came upon one of the men who was standing there and he said, Listen all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid, for the battle is not yours but God's. He told them that tomorrow they would march out against the armies, but they would not need to fight, for God would be with them. Then King Jehoshaphat and all of the people of Israel worshipped God. The next morning, the army of Judah went out to battle. Bless you. Jehoshaphat said to them, Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be able to stand firm. Jehoshaphat sent the singers to walk ahead of the army, and they praised God as they led the army. At the very moment they started praising God, God caused the armies of the other kingdoms to start fighting among themselves. So when the army of Judah came to overlook the battlefield, uh, wow. the enemy was defeated and not a single one of them had escaped. The army of Judah went and gathered the valuables from the valley, and there was so much that it took them three days to collect it all. Wow. They praised and thanked God who had given them victory. Then they marched into Jerusalem praising God who had defeated the armies of their enemies, and the kingdom of Judah was at peace. Wow, that was so cool. God told King Jehoshaphat not to fight in the battle. Sounds weird, right? But God actually went ahead of him to defeat their army. All Jehoshaphat had to do was trust God. And look what happened. God took care of him. We can trust God too, because he'll always help us in the way that's best for us. It might not be the way we expect or the way we want help, but God's plan is the best plan. And when he tells us something, he will always do what he says. That reminds me of our big idea for today. I can be royal like King Jehoshaphat when I trust God. That's right. And one of the best ways to show God we trust him is to pray to him and make him a part of everything we do. You know, all this talk about royalty and kings has me wondering what our friend Greg is up to in the Lego kingdom. Let's check out the latest episode of Greg on the Go to find out what he has going on today. Let's watch. What's up, Master Builders, and welcome to Greg on the Go, my new show where me and my cameraman Dan go on the hunt for extraordinary, incredible things. Today, we're at the magical kingdom of Legoland. Now, you might be wondering, why do I call it a kingdom? Well, growing up, my favorite Lego sets were the Lego Kingdom series with kings, queens, knights, and castles. So, let's get inside this enchanted kingdom and see what we can find. Let's go, Dan. Let's go, Dan! No, totally, I agree. Legoland's the best. I mean, you meet a lot of new friends, like Mohawk Man. He doesn't have a lot to say. He's quiet. See you, Mohawk Man. Let's go, Dan. So we're back in the magical kingdom of Legoland, and I know we're on the hunt for dragons, buried treasure, and knights, but look at this. We stumbled across a huge roller coaster. Whoa! Now, I know I'm really afraid of heights, but we might have to ride this thing once maybe twice, and then get back on the search for everything royal. Let's go, Dan. 
So we made it to the entrance of the Lego Technic Coaster. And here's a fun little fact. I'm really afraid of heights. But here's the deal. You gotta overcome your fears. Plus, there's seat belts and a lot of safety precautions that go into these things. So Dan, we're jumping on. Let's go. All right, so we're in line. We gotta make our way to the front. We need a spot in the front line. Let's go. And check it out. You can hear the roller coaster tick, tick, ticking up. That's gonna be us, Dan. Let's go. Okay, we're climbing up to the top. Now, I know we we're in search of knights and buried treasure and dragons. And I'm really afraid of heights. I'm really afraid of heights. But this is gonna be awesome. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That was the biggest drop I've ever been on. That was unbelievable. Now we're hanging up with the trees up here. I think we're about 60, 70, 100 feet in the air. And I think the heights are scaring me again. Whoa! Whoa! We're coming around the S-turn, Dan. I gotta talk to cameraman Dan. We gotta get back on the search. Hey, cameraman Dan! We got one last drop here at the end. I think we're getting ready for it now. Whoa, we're coming down the loopies! Whoa, the loopies, whoa! <laughs> Woo! That ride was wild. We got one last mini drop, whoa! <laughs> that was amazing. The ride's dying down. We're hopping off, success. Whoa, the Lego Technic Coaster was awesome. And best of all, the safety bar worked and I conquered my fear of heights. Well, let's get back to the Lego castle. We got a lot to discuss. Let's go, Dan. Whew, well the safety bar did its job and I made it back here to the studio safe and sound. And now that we're here, let me tell you all about one of my favorite kings in the Bible, King Jehoshaphat. He was a good king in Judah, he loved God and God was with him. But that doesn't mean he didn't have any problems. In fact, one time there were three different countries who declared war on Judah. Now as great and strong as his army was, King Jehoshaphat still went to God first. He went to God in prayer and asked that the entire nation join him. God told him not to be afraid and said he would go before him to defeat their enemy. They didn't need to fight because the battle was not theirs, but God's. So Jehoshaphat trusted what he said. The army of Judah literally went to the battlefield singing God's praises. And when they arrived, Jehoshaphat and his men saw that God had already defeated their enemies, just as he said they would. Now today, I was a little bit nervous to ride the roller coaster, but I saw how safe it looked, and I decided to trust my safety bar and all the safety features to protect me, instead of letting my fear stop me from doing something fun. Sometimes, that's what trusting God looks like. Even if I'm scared or unsure, I know God will do what he says and take care of me. I can trust him and let him use me for his good plans instead of letting my fear stop me from doing what God wants me to do. He gives us what we need, but that doesn't mean it's always an easy choice. It means stepping out into faith. And once we do, God will take us on an incredible journey. So how can we be royal like King Jehoshaphat? Well, we can trust God, right? Now, if you're facing a battle right now and are having trouble trusting God in it, remember, God will help you if you ask him. A big part of having faith is praying to God during difficult times, like we saw King Jehoshaphat do. God wants us to depend on him, and the more we do, the more our lives will be transformed. Well, I hope this story of Jehoshaphat can be an encouraging reminder that God's with you and he's gone before you. And the more you believe in him and do the things he says, the easier it will be for you to trust God with other areas of your life, even when you're scared. All right, friends, it's been fun hanging out with you today, checking out Lego Kingdom, and learning all about kings and queens in the Bible. As great as they are, there's an even greater king, King Jesus. Jesus is God's son who came to earth just for us. We can all trust in God's plan for us to be in his royal family. We'll see you next week for more Greg on the go. See ya. Come on, Dan. Oh! That roller coaster was awesome. I'm with Greg on this one though. Roller coasters definitely make me a little nervous, not to mention nauseous. 
But when you trust that the roller coaster will keep you safe, it's actually a lot of fun. Just like when we trust God and his plans, he takes us on a journey that is greater than we could ever imagine. When we aren't sure about the plan or feel scared or worried, we can always trust that God will take care of us and go ahead of us. That doesn't mean we won't have problems and things will always go exactly our way, but we can be sure that God will work it all out for good. No matter what it is, we can always tell God how we feel. When you pray to him, you can tell him when you feel excited or scared or sad, just like Jehoshaphat told God he felt scared. It shows God we trust him. King Jehoshaphat was an amazing king, but did you know the actual one true king is King Jesus? That's right, he's our king and we can be part of his royal family when we choose to follow him. Well friends, it's been a blast hanging out with you today. We had a lot of fun and I hope you remember that you can always trust God because he will always do what he says. And hey, we'd love to see you in person too. So check out our campus locations and find a Saddleback Kids near you. Don't forget, we have some awesome activity sheets, coloring pages, and even some stuff for your parents online at saddlebackkids.com. Check it out and we'll see you here next week to learn about another royal king or queen from the Bible. See you next time, bye.